In this video we will discuss the differences between gear drive and belt drive. So the very first difference gear drive is one type of engagement drive. So here you can see an example of gear drive. Now the motion is transmitted from the driver to the driven by means of successive engagement and disengagement of the teeth. Okay, And that is why the gear drive is a type of engagement drive. Now the belt drive. Belt drive is one type of friction drive. So here you can see an example of belt drive. Here the motion is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft or from one pulley to another pulley by means of a flexible element which is nothing but the belt. Okay, So uh, there is a friction in between the inner surface of the belt and the outer surface of the pulley and due to which the motion is transmitted or the power is transmitted from one pulley to another pulley. If the load on the system increases beyond the friction force, then there will be a slip. Okay, and, uh, and hence, the belt drive is known as friction drive because the motion is transmitted due to the friction. Next point, in gear drive, driver and driven shafts are connected by rigid links. No intermediate flexible elements exist between the two shafts. Now, in case of gear drive, the two elements are connected together uh, by their teeth. Okay, so here you can see suppose this is a driver and this is a driven, they are connected together. There, uh, there is no any flexible element. Okay, so in gear drive, driver and driven shafts are rigidly connected, are connected by the rigid links. No intermediate flexible elements exist between the two shafts. Now the belt drive. In belt drive, driver and driven shafts are connected by intermediate flexible element that is belt. So in case of belt drive, the two elements are connected together by means of a flexible element which is known as belt and hence it is known as a flexible drive. Next point, it is a positive drive so velocity ratio remains constant. So gear drive is a positive drive because we are get we are getting a constant velocity ratio and hence it is a type of positive drive. Uh, here the motion is transmitted by a successive engagement and disengagement of the teeth and the one uh, one teeth of the gear one tooth of the gear slides over the over another tooth of the gear. So there exists very uh, negligible friction in between the two gears and hence we are getting a constant velocity ratio and that is why it is known as a positive drive. Now the belt drive, it is non-positive drive as the slip and creep occurs frequently. Now in case of belt drive, the motion is transmitted due to the friction and if the load on the system uh, increase beyond the friction force in that case the slip occur and due to which we are not getting exact velocity ratio and hence it is a type of non-positive drive. Next point, gear drive cannot protect the system from impact and overloading. Now uh, in case of gear drive the motion is transmitted between the two shafts by means of a rigid link which is gear. Uh, if the load on the driven shaft increases and if there are vibrations in the system then those vibrations will be transferred to the prime mover or to the driver shaft because your system cannot protect uh, the driver shaft from the vibrations as they are connected together by means of rigid link. So gear drive cannot protect the system from impact and overloading. Now the belt drive. Slip in the belt drive helps protecting the system from impact and overloading. Now here the two element that is driver and driven are connected together by means of a belt which is flexible in nature and uh, due to its uh, flexible nature it absorbs the shocks and vibration. So whatever shocks and vibrations in the driven shafts they are not transmitted to the driver shaft. Next point, gear drive cannot isolate driver from the vibration. Uh, from vibrations on the driven shaft. So as we have already discussed, in case of gear drive, the two shafts are connected together by means of a rigid element that is gear and if there are vibrations in the driven shaft, the same vibrations will be transferred 
to the driver shaft so if there are vibrations in the machines uh, in the machinery unit the the same vibrations will be transferred to the prime mover and sometimes these vibrations are dangerous and they may <coughs> fail the entire system now the belt drive the intermediate flexible element can absorb the vibration and thereby protect the driver shaft now there is an intermediate element in between the driver and driven shaft in case of belt drive and whatever i uh, whatever vibrations or the shocks present in the driven shaft they are get absorbed and it cannot transfer to the uh, driver shaft and hence and hence uh, the belt drive is comparatively safer than the gear drive next point gear drive transmit large torque and power so gear drive are able to transmit the large torque and power it has wider application it can transmit the small torque and power uh, the applications like toys watches where it can transmit very uh, less torque and it can transmit the high torque and it can be used in heavy machineries like the gearbox of automobile then uh, the ships okay so uh, the gear drive is used to transmit the large torque and power now the belt drive belt drive is not preferred for large torque and power transmission so the belt drive is not used for transmitting large power and the torque transmission because of its flexible nature here the motion is transmitted due to the friction force and if the load on the system increases in that case uh, the slip may occur and that is why belt drive cannot be used for transmitting large torque torque and power next point high speed reduction can be achieved easily in case of gear drive so whenever we want to change the rotational speed of the system that can be done by changing the diameter of the driver or the driven element so if we want to reduce the rotational speed we can increase the diameter of the driven shaft uh, increase the diameter of the driven gear and we can reduce the uh, speed of the system so in case of gear drive the speed reduction from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 100 can be achieved now the belt drive it cannot provide steep velocity reduction so the belt drive cannot provide the the large velocity reduction it can reduce the velocity from 1 is to 1 to 1 is to 4 only next point gear drive is suitable for short distance distance power and motion transmission now the gear drive are suitable for short distance power and motion transmission okay so uh, if we want to transmit the power over a large distance in that case we cannot use gear drive because in that case we have to increase the diameter of the gear and it is it is very difficult to manufacture the gear with larger diameter and again it will uh, increase the weight of the entire system and again it will increase the cost of the system so gear drive are suitable for transmitting the power within 1 meter uh, distance then the belt drive it is suitable for medium to large distance power and motion transmission so the belt drive are suitable for transmitting the power over a large distance because here for transmitting the power we are using the belt and uh, it is easy to use a long belt again it will not increase the weight of the system and we can easily connect the belt by means of nut and bolt arrangement so the belt drive is suitable for medium to large distance so with the help of belt drive we can transmit the power from 3 to 15 meter center distance next point driver and driven shafts rotate in opposite direction additional gear is required to obtain rotation in the same direction so here if the driver gear rotates in clockwise direction then the driven gear will rotate in anti clockwise direction and vice versa so uh, for changing uh, for changing the or for getting uh, the motion in the same direction we have to use an idler gear and it will make the system complex and again it will increase the cost of the system now the belt drive driver and driven shafts can rotate either in the same or opposite direction employing flat or cross belt system so uh, uh, in case of belt drive we we can rotate the system in the same direction or in the opposite direction so uh, 
when the flat uh, flat belt system is used in that case we are getting the motion in the same direction and when the cross belt system is used in that case the driver and the driven uh, pulley will rotate in opposite direction next point Gear drive cannot tolerate small amount of locational or angular misalignment. So here in case of gear drive, it cannot tolerate small amount of locational or angular misalignment. Uh, so the two gears should have a proper alignment, should have a perfect alignment. Then and then they can transmit the power. If there is a variation in the alignment, then it will increase the load over the system it can increase the wear rate of the gear tooth and it ultimately decreases the efficiency of the system now the belt drive small amount of locational or angular misalignment does not pose any problem in the belt drive so here you can see uh, the different type of misalignment so with this misalignment uh, also the belt drive can transmit the power without any uh, loss in efficiency next point gear drive requires full lubrication its initial cost and maintenance cost are also higher now the gear drive are used for heavy application and the two shafts are connected together by means of a rigid element and they are they are in continuous contact with each other and that is why the two gears the two mating gears are uh, are either required a partial or full lubrication so either they are uh, fully or partially immersed in a lubricating oil while transmitting the power so that lubricating power can absorb the heat and it it provides the lubrication while transmitting the power now the belt drive seldom lubrication is required in belt drive moreover its initial cost and maintenance cost are also lower so the belt drive do not require uh, a regular lubrication uh, occasional lubrication is required even if you provide more lubrications then it will uh, increase the chances of slip okay so uh, uh, the lubrication cost is more in case of gear drive and the lubrication cost is less in case of belt drive next point in case of gear drive here line contact occurs between the two mating gears which results low friction and low power loss so it provides high efficiency now in case of gear drive the two the two gear teeth comes in contact with each other and there exists a line contact in between two gear teeth so it is a type of uh, uh, higher pair okay and as there is a line contact so very less friction occurs in between the two gear teeth and that is why we are getting exact velocity ratio in case of gear drive and its efficiency is around 99% because there is a negligible friction in between the two gear teeth now the belt drive here area contact occurs between the belt and pulley so power loss is more due to high friction which also results in lower efficiency now in case of belt drive there is a area contact in between the belt and the pulley so this is nothing but the wrap angle of the belt so there exists a area contact the surface contact in between the belt and pulley and the motion is transmitted due to the friction in between the belt and the pulley and due to this friction there is a power loss and it reduces the efficiency of the belt drive so around 95% efficiency we will be getting in case of belt drive next point for gear drive performance of the gear drive is not affected by small variations in atmospheric temperature so the small variations in the atmospheric temperature will not degrade the performance of the gear drive there there will not be change in the dimensions of the gear and it will not affect the performance of the system now the belt drive length of the belt increases with the increase in temperature and the slip occurs undesirably so as the belts are made up of leather or the rubber so the increase in the temperature will increase the length of the belt and due to increase in the length of the belt the slip occur and that decrease the efficiency of the system so frequent adjustment in the uh, in the initial tension uh, or the tensioning is required 
in case of belt drive so the change in atmospheric uh, conditions may change or may affect the performance of the system in case of belt drive so i hope you understood the difference in between gear drive and belt drive thank you so much for watching my video thank you